All right, everyone, we are going fishing again. So a little bit different today. We aren't gonna be getting out there early. We're gonna actually, it's 10.30 right now. We're just gonna do a short trip. See if we can't uh, find, some, find some fish feeding around midday. The odds aren't that great, but we're gonna give it a, give it a try. So we got permission to, to go from the wife. So let's go catch some fish. Uh, today is Memorial Day Monday. It is a beautiful day. It's got a little bit of cloud cover that does make me a little nervous, but you know, honestly, it, it's fishing and it's not sitting at home. So, um, really looking forward to today. It is going to be a good one, I think. So, stay tuned. Let's see if we can't catch some fish. windy but that's not gonna stop us from fishing we are out of Myrtle Grove today it is Memorial Day um, do you want to go ahead and mention that you know like we look at this as a day of fun and grilling and it's really more than that it's about people who fall for our country who, who gave us this right to do this so it is important we remember that but it's a beautiful day I got a feeling we are going to get into some fish hopefully so I told my wife that if we if I catch a redfish I'm going to cook it for her so hopefully I can catch one and we can do a catch clean and cook grass isn't really growing in here just yet but later on this summer we should have a lot more grass and the water will clear up a lot better and this place will turn it into an aquarium try to get on in here and see what's it is deep enough that there's grass. There just isn't enough grass in that last spot. I am going to want to go back and try to catch those redfish that I bumped. Pretty long broke. <sighs> yep, that's frustrating uh, when you lose one just because your line fails.
there he is right there there he goes oh gosh Oh god. I forgot what redfish looked like. Man, oh man. I had to chase him around. Check him out. Beautiful redfish. Oh. He uh was well, swimming right to me. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get to him. I cast it two or three times and I missed. And man, that last cast, I kind of, kind of made it mess up a little bit. It, uh, I was reeling in too fast and it was on top of the water and I was actually worried I was gonna spook him. But <clears throat> whew, it's nice to have one in the boat. Like I said, we're gonna keep one. This is a good one to keep. Um, he is probably, I would say, 18 inches. Uh, no, 20 and a half so we'll go ahead and get him in the box see if we can catch a few more but it's good to be all get the skunk out of the boat let's uh see what else we can find in here i'm gonna see where he was coming from and if you didn't notice i i was definitely a little hesitant to, to boat flip him. Normally I would have, but if you go back and watch my first video, you'll see why I didn't boat flip that one. This pond is chocker block full of sheep's head. But it's shallow as hell and it's long right into the wind. So I'm gonna probably come around there and then try to just fish that side. I don't think I'm going to really be able to effectively fish it going against this wind. There's a red fish. All right, I've thoroughly spooked these. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find some that I haven't scared the shit out of like three times and continue to throw at them. <laughs> oh, there's a redfish right there. Come on, man. It's a big redfish. I'm betting he's gonna be. He might be over slot. Huh. Once they get that head full of grass, it's, they feel also a lot bigger than they actually are. Started off slow, but this is a good, good this is a chunker right here. Oh, nice golden color. So another one just hanging out right on top of this grass. Like water's really clear because of the grass. Even though the wind's blowing really hard, you know, doesn't mean you can't spike this redfish. 
It just means you can't hold them. Look at that beautiful blue color tail. Love it. Hi, right, girl. Let you go back. So let her swim. Well, let's see what a measurement is real quick. Just rough. Uh, 26. So right at slot. But she has to go free. Let's go, big girl. love seeing those big ones they're fun to fight and uh you know eventually they'll make their way out there and hopefully start breeding but all i'm doing is you know my favorite bait you've probably seen it on all three of my videos so far four this will be video number four i love this matrix crawl Mason crawfish with this underspin. I believe Devin Denman was the one I heard this from on his YouTube channel. It is a uh, deadly bait. I like to throw it on with a, a little bit of garlic. Just to give them that scent trail. Make it seem a little more natural. Just make sure you spray it downwind. All right, good day of fishing. Well, it's time to get home. Um, finish up the, putting, them, uh, putting on the final touch of the boat right now. To get it ready to go. We heading home. All right, so we're just gonna do it pretty simple. We're gonna keep them on the half shell. Uh, my wife and I are trying to eat a little healthier, so we're gonna. We're gonna grill this one. Normally, uh, that's that's probably my second favorite recipe. Favorite is probably blackened. Put it in uh, some hot butter, blackened seasoning. You can't beat that. But I like to grill them on the half shell too. All right, so I like to keep it a little simple. I just squeeze some fresh lemon on there. A little salt. Pepper. And a little bit of Tony's. Try not to put too much on there. Um, just because we can always add more later. But once you get that spice on there, it's, you can quickly overpower it. So <clears throat> we're going to wait for the grill to get hot. We're going to throw this on there. All right. We're going to throw, throw these fish on the grill. We got them looking. They are looking good already just, just by themselves. But got a feeling it's going to taste really good. Got our grill hot. Ooh, I love it when it sizzles like that. All right. Got a couple fish fillets and a couple ears of corn. Let's get them going. All right, so I take a shower. The fish should be almost done, so let's take a look. Oh, yeah. The fish is looking good. Let's see. Oh, nice and flaky. That fish is perfect. Yep, I'm going to pull that off. Corn's probably got a little bit longer to go. It might be getting close. Husk is starting to get crispy, so we're going to go ahead and pull that fish off the grill. And then uh, give it a little taste test. All right, so we're gonna give it just a little bit of a taste test. Fantastic. Love it that it was swimming around just a few hours ago. <clears throat> oh, it's not like I take a whole lot of them out of the water, but man, when I do, they're fantastic. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.